Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. Um, it's the end of the day. I don't want to... Uh, look, I'm alone in here and it's been about an hour since anyone was in here and... I just don't want to wear a mask right now when I do this video. I have some exciting news. I... Where have I been? I have been developing a Uber Eats menu and it's been a couple of months and I finally... I'm at a place where I'm so happy, like I'm so excited with the products and I thought well duh you've got a YouTube channel like share your products with the people there you know um, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go get my stuff and I'm gonna show you. For those of you who follow me on my TikTok I just want to say thank you for being here and for those of you who are here I just thought it was fun to uh, <laughs> share a little bit about what's going on with me and uh, to share how I package my things and how fun it's been. There's been a lot of negativity, there's been a lot of sadness, there's been a lot of death and I'm excited for something in the, for the first time in a long time and I, I deserve to be excited about it. You guys, packaging is really, really important. Like, that's what I realized. Packaging is everything. This is our large box. Some of them have windows, some of them don't. They're almost always accompanied with a Theo's Cake sticker. This one is a rainbow sticker. And um, thank you to TikTok. Uh, this is really something I learned from TikTok. I mean, TikTok is everything lately to me. Um, a thank you card. Duh. You know, so uh, uh, these are like some smaller boxes that we have and then like sometimes on Uber Eats someone orders two things like two cupcakes and two cake pops. You can't put those in this huge box. So I had to think about what I'm going to do and then I had to think about how to present it, how to package it. And as someone who orders a lot of fast food, I was like, well, what's the number one thing that happens when you get fast food? Each item is individually packed, so that's what I did. We individually packed our cupcakes and I just decided, I know it's difficult, every cupcake will always have a little sugar flower because if someone gave me something with a tiny little sugar flower on it, homemade, I, w I really appreciate it. I think to myself, someone took the time to make this. So for now we've got three flavors. I'm open to suggestions and they're selling quite well. So why are they selling well? Uh, I believe it's because it's in a little box. I really do. Uh, for those of you who are from America, you've definitely got cupcakes, sprinkle, uh, sprinkles, cupcakes, um, uh, vending machines, and it's very similar package to, to what this is. And that excites me. How stupid is that? But I love packaging. It's dumb. Okay, I get it. Um, and I'm, I'm printing little heart stickers for these. They're, they're very similar to these. I don't know when they'll be ready. Sometimes this week. Hearts and stars and all sorts of stuff. So that is the vanilla cupcake. That's what it looks like. I don't want to open it up. And, okay, well, I guess I can open it up. I'm going to eat. I'm taking all of these home. Um, so it's okay if I touch it. I'm going to eat all of these later. So this is how our vanilla cupcake looks. Um, notice it's got a flower and it's got uh, sprinkles on it. Um, these are just ordinary um, sprinkles, like rainbow sprinkles and all sorts of stuff. And we, we learned in our lesson early on that we have to pre-fold all these boxes because they're difficult to fold. So this is the chocolate one. Let me just take it out of the box. I mean, you order your... It's driving on the back of a motorbike. <laughs> it's really, really... Um, go, these things are really going on an adventure. Because uh, when they leave here, they get knocked around. So this is what the chocolate cupcake looks like. Identical, with the exception of the sprinkles that are just chocolate vermicelli. And then I was out in a store one day manifesting how I wanted this to be and I found um, I found red sprinkles for the red velvet one and I thought it was so damn cute and I was like okay okay this can be a theme that goes through it so um, ordinary sprinkles for vanilla chocolate sprinkles for chocolate and this here is red sprinkles for red velvet and 
and they're selling. <laughs> so I'm doing something right there. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Um, and as you can see, I'm excited. <laughs> now my background is just so like, hey, this is what it looks. If I want to, <laughs> these are my molds. Okay, so um, this is the, the chocolate cake pop. Um, at first, it was just a cake pop in the box. And then we sort of evolved in a lot of the comments, like the good comments, the kind comments. I, I was reading them on TikTok and I was like, okay, all right. A lot of the people have some, some good news to say. Like the one, the one gentleman said to me, but why do you not individually wrap the cake pop? And I was like, isn't he right? You know, I was like, he's right though. And then I was like, you don't have to go and get a, a, a box that's as nice as this for the cake pop. You just need something to slip it in. And you know, uh, our chocolate ones are selling really well. Our red velvet ones come with red sprinkles and our vanilla ones come with just ordinary sprinkles. So this is what they look like and, and I think that's adorable. And look how, oh, oh, when we first started they were small. I don't know, I don't have anything to compare it, but they were like, because we would bake them and then I was like, no. Something inside me was like, that's not worth it. Make them bigger. And then we made these bigger ones and I was like, yes. And then the second a customer got them, um, they ordered a lot and I explained to them we're making them bigger now and they were like, cool, thank you. So for school, if it's someone's birthday and everything has to be individually wrapped, this makes sense to order off the app. It just makes sense to me. Okay, so moving right along, um, we also have Cakesicles available on the Uber Eats app. And this is my vanilla cakesicle, which I really love the packaging. Like, wow, I love it. Okay, we can talk about pricing. Um, these go for 12 Rand 50 each. These go for 16 Rand 50 each. And the cupcakes are also 16 Rand 50 each. But I have to confess, I might have to find a more cost effective box in the future because these are quite pricey, but I love them and packaging is so important. So um, we've got uh, a Funfetti one. The Funfetti one is a different shape because I wanted to be clear that this is all the same ingredients to Funfetti. So I thought to myself, okay, well, and this one is my favorite one. It's the best one. I love it. But some people are like, I despise sprinkles, but I don't know if any of those people are here. This is the red velvet one. I'm very, very impressed. Um, and this one is the chocolate one. This one is the one that is displayed on the picture. I couldn't load multiple pictures. So uh, for some reason, I'm going to have to speak to someone on the app to just get multiple pictures loaded. And, and people keep ordering this chocolate one because they really, really love it. Um, and yeah, that's basically what we had in the beginning. And then uh, we decided, okay, let's load our, a uh, cake, an ice cream cake. But then there were problems with the delivery. Like it's this bag that folds up and you put an ice cream cake in there. And by the time it gets there, it's like deformed. And I was like, okay, we have to rethink this. So uh, for Pride Month, we made rainbow cake slices. We individual, well, I'm going to eat this one later. That's why I'm touching all these things. Shh, I'm gonna eat all, all of this. Well, my mom and I are. My dad will, will eat them and say, uh, you shouldn't eat this. Anyway, so um, yeah, it's quite a huge <laughs> slice of cake. I really love it. So this is my, oh, this is a cute thumbnail. I'm excited about this. I think you guys can tell. Uh, I'm sorry I've been absent for so long. Anyway. So uh, uh, I got the idea from TikTok. Uh, I don't remember where, uh, if, if someone really wants me to say where I got it, I'll, I'll, I'll search for it and say it. But um, TikTok gives me a lot of ideas and, and, and I'm really inspired by TikTok. So there was a lady on TikTok, I forget her name, I'll find it if you really want to know it. She was doing individual sample for, for brides. And I was like, what? Are, and she, she said she wraps them in cellophane and brushes them with syrup to keep them fresh for longer and then when people fetch this from her it's um fresh and i was like that's how i'm gonna do it because and i'll tell you why 
I ordered a lot of slices of cake when I was getting uh, ready for these ideas. And it would come in a box and it would just have like a piece of tissue paper. And I was like, okay, no, that's fine. That's very nice and everything, but it's a bit gross. Rolls around when he's driving and blah, blah, blah. And I thought, I really want something secure. So then I came, then I came up with my, okay, I will do a six layer rainbow cake. Da, 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 da. And then we did a chocolate cake that didn't do so well. So I'm gonna try a red velvet cake as well. Um, and possibly like a funfetti cake slice. Something that you can wrap individually. And, and, and I know that in the future this will change. This won't stay like this forever. I, I also um, got the idea from Cake Boss uh, because he sells cakes like this in America, that, uh, but he's found this gorgeous packaging that, that literally is a cake slice. You'll notice on the back, I cover it over with icing. Why do I do that? It's another way to uh, preserve freshness. Okay, so I know that's really small, but really that's it. That's all that I have on my um, Uber Eats menu. And I'm impressed, but now I gotta get new ideas. So because I haven't been here for a while, I am sharing some new items that I have on my Uber Eats menu. By the way, if any of you are in Van der Bell or Johannesburg and you wanna order this stuff, just order it through me. I mean, it doesn't really, you don't have to use the app. So the first thing I wanna show you, well, I'll do some close-ups because it's inverted right now. Oh, I can just change the inversion, Never mind. So the first thing I want to show you is this happy birthday lollipop. It's 10 centimeters in diameter. It's huge. So I made this because a lot of there, there's like a small glitch on the app. People think that I can write messages on these items and I'm like, there's no space on a cupcake. And I'm like, damn, how am I going to do this? So I thought to myself, let me make happy birthdays in pink and blue for now. I mean, if people, you know, this is quite a huge lollipop. It could turn into a lollipop bouquet. It could turn into anything. So um, I thought to myself, let me, I, I can always write a message on my thank you card for a person, that's fine. But it's a little too Theo's cakesy right now. So I could, I could have some cards printed out with some lines um, and a small Theo's Cakes logo in the, in the corner and I could write a message on there. You could say, happy birthday mom or whatever you wanted. So these items are just normal chocolate lollipops for chocolate lovers. It's quite thick. It's quite huge. I can see the, the uh, lolly is actually having some trouble holding up the chocolate. And then um, when it comes to chocolate lollipops, we, we quickly added these to our menu today. Uh, it won't be up yet, so you guys are hearing about it for the first time, those of you who care. They're also just ordinary chocolate pops um, that you can order, because in the future I have this idea in mind that, okay, you could order a bouquet of all of these things. And here's like a heart-shaped one, which I think is really, I love that it's in plastic and even though I'm touching it, I'm not affecting its safety. Um, and I think that's the bottom line. So yeah, um, now I'm going to show you something cute that happened. I was uh, sitting at my desk reading a post. I don't know what you call these posts, uh, chain link posts or whatever. You read through them and they say, the item behind you is something you're going to become famous for. So I looked behind me and I was like, my shelf. I was like, Duh. and then I sat and I thought about it and I was like, well, Theo, why don't you turn it into something else? And this specific shelf was separated for yours. Um, it was a, like a, a bookcase type shelf, which had a desk attachment that folds and closes and, and it's lockable and all of that. And I, I reattached it and I was like, well, what if I, huh, what if I make all of this stuff worth buying? And I just throw a bunch of candy in there with it. And, I, and then I decided all of my items come with candy. So assorted candy, nothing that has nuts in it, just stuff that is commonly eaten like marshmallows and gummies and sugar sweets. Something that everyone can eat um, 
and that everyone would enjoy like uh, yeah so so that's what I ended up doing I think I'm gonna show you how I run through an order while Uber Eats is, is live and while I've decided to film every single order because exposure is how people found out about me TikTok is how people found out about me not really Uber Eats so I'm gonna be doing that um, and then I'm going to just show you how I package it and I thought of I thought of spoons for if someone wants to eat the slice of cake Da, 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 da. So I'm gonna cut to like a close-up of, of how I package this. Okay you guys, well the first thing that goes in is a colorful um, tissue paper slice. I just, I think that's important to catch any oils or anything that might spill. And then this is my compliment card. It just says thank you for your support. I think it's cute when people um, have these things because they believe in their products so i'm basically packaging this for myself so it's three cupcakes this is literally how it goes into the box if, if this was an order this is how it would be you know okay and then uh let's just say this person hypothetically ordered a rainbow cake slice that would go in the corner and we can't forget uh, to add like a piece well it's the first time I'm using these but I, I wanted to show you guys what they're like so it's just quite literally wooden spoons and wooden uh, kind of like a spork like a spoon fork combination and uh, then I would do that right there I would actually staple that or, or stick that on in a way or whatever you get what I'm saying and then um, the reason I package these like this is because they can be actually propped up on their sides so if someone literally ordered <laughs> one of each item today this is kind of how it would go you know um, or whatever it can lie down it doesn't have to there's more than enough space in the big box um, then this is like how I would package the rest of my cake pops. And I think that is adorable, you guys. Don't you? That is so adorable. Um, so we've got our chocolate lollies that are now going there. And I mean, if someone bought me for this on my birthday, I would literally cry because dessert is sorted for a whole week. And, you know, let's say that that is how the box looks. And I think that is adorable, don't you guys? Anyway, now it's time. Okay, so if the box closes, you know, you've got your logo there. Okay, so I'm so excited about that. So now it's time for me to show you the secret candy station stash. Okay, so this is my desk it's, <laughs> it's covered in plastic just in case I have to have a meeting with someone um, and this is the cupboard that has become famous so what I end up doing on my TikToks is I pretend like Shh, I'm going to the secret candy station don't tell anyone guys and then I unlock it and the table comes down and as you can see it's like <laughs> amazing and there's been thousands of views literally because this of this simple idea of giving a little extra to your customer so what you end up doing is um, I do actually use this as a workstation and I place any uh, order down here and then I start adding random candy to it in the future, I'm sure if it gets too busy, we will pre-package candy so that it can actually not interfere. I mean, it does give me a little bit of anxiety when the candy just plops in there, but a lot of people like that. So ordinarily, I would open the box and by this stage of preparing everything, it means the Uber driver is literally a couple of minutes away. You know so I would get some marshmallows and I would add them in 
to the box because I think of this as styrofoam packaging when it comes to keeping everything safe and secure. And then I would get some, oh, I really love these little hearts. Well, I'm just wearing gloves now so that, oh, sorry, so, so that I can easily touch everything and show it to you. Oh, 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 everything's failing. Okay, anyway, so I usually add these little hearts in <laughs> and then because of TikTok, we add sneaky snakes into the mixture. You know what I'm saying? We basically just add a little bit of candy, especially something like these uh, mini Smarties. And then uh, when we package it, I'll show you what we end up doing when we package it. So um, what I always do, and this is because of TikTok, people on TikTok started saying, hey, your Uber driver saw the secret stash. <laughs> then I thought, okay, uh, how can we how can we silence the Uber driver? So I usually add a lollipop or a little chocolate for the Uber driver. I think it's time to give back in the world. A little something can make someone's day. Um, and then, well, what we do is we move it over to the sanitizing station. So when you enter my store, um, <laughs> this is the sanitizing station. There's a red line, you can't cross it. I'm usually far away from the Uber driver. They have to sanitize hands and then I tell them the little chocolate that's in the bow is for you. And then they take it, put it in their case and they deliver it. And so far everything's been going well. I'm really excited about this. And I hope you guys like this idea. So you guys, this is the end result. I'm so happy with it. Let me take a thumbnail. It kind of looks like a gift basket. Um, I'm so happy with this. This has been a healing process. This has been a reason to get out of bed. This has made lockdown orders possible. I can be open as a takeaway business. I would definitely recommend an online business to anyone. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe. Please share this video. Um, I don't know what this is going to turn into, but I hope that I will forever sell this stuff. And, and I hope that we can all just still be here in a year or two. Let's, let's hope for that. <laughs> okay, guys, I promise it won't be so long um, until I see you guys again. Have a good day and thanks for supporting.